I think this may be my favorite YouTube video intro. Check it out. It's important to understand what makes an outstanding mic stand. Terrible puns notwithstanding. And I'm not just saying that just because he's my husband, although that helps. But also one, it's short enough to be non-intrusive yet long enough to make an impression. Two, it's on brand and totally customized, which I think adds authority, personalization, and polish. And three, it seamlessly integrates into each video. So instead of cutting away to a really cool sequence or an animated graphic that ends up being the same in every single video, you still get an intro that sets the stage, but you see something new every time. Time, and that's my favorite part. So I wanted to create something like this for my channel, but the problem is I can't do it the way that Tom did. Tom used an app called Procreate, which is a sketching, painting, drawing app for the iPad. And basically he did it old school animation style where you draw one frame, you flip to the next frame, you move the object over, draw another frame, flip to the next one, blah, blah, blah. And you flip it like a flip book so that your thing animates, except he did all that digitally in Procreate. I think he said it took about 25 hand-drawn frames to create the sequence. I am not artistically inclined, so there's no way that I can actually hand-draw anything like that. You can also use a program called Adobe After Effects, which I don't have and I don't know how to use, so how can I still make my own cool intro with good old Canva? And I'll walk you through it. Let's get started. So looking at Tom's intro, you can see I'm playing this at 0.5 speed just to slow it down. He's got the channel name. He has some animation, some movements. And then also the background is transparent so that you can see the video underneath it. So we're going to take these elements and try to put our own spin on it in Canva. So head on over to Canva and then click on create a design. And we're just going to put in 1920 by 1080, which is the standard size for uh, video dimensions and then hit create new design. And here's our blank canvas. So the first thing that we're gonna do is put in the background. I'm just gonna take a square shape here and adjust it to fit the canvas. For now, I'm going to make this black because when we actually drag it into our video editor, the video underneath is going to, we're gonna decrease the opacity. So this kind of will give us an idea of what it will look like. And then now we'll head on over and create uh, the logo name part. So I'll start with uh, the text. I'll just put my name, definitely gonna have that part in there, Heather Ramirez. And we'll start with this for now. And then let's put a colored box underneath it just so it pops out a little more so i'll head on over to elements and i know i'm gonna need a rectangle so let me see what i got here um i have a more messy style so i want something like this um this is too pink for me so um i'm probably gonna go with a little pinkish purplish something like that um and then let's make this be a little bigger, something like this. All right, I'm gonna adjust the, the line height here and let me change the font. I want something a little more handwritey e uh, something like that. That looks good. And then I'm also going to want to add a subtitle. This is kind of big. Let's make this a little smaller. There we go. Something like that. And then let's grab a subheader and let me move this. Um, I'm going to put your YouTube coach, which you can't see because it's black. Let's make it white. And let me change the font to this and make it bigger, something like this. Great, I think that's pretty much all we're gonna have for now, but we want to add in the movement and the animation. So the first thing that I wanna do is add a YouTube logo since I'm your YouTube coach. Um, let me look for an animated YouTube. Let's put animated YouTube. All right, so we've got some buttons and stickers here that all do some slight movement, but I want something relatively simple so let me just see what we got here hmm maybe this could work let me pull that out for now uh let me do animated play maybe we got play button okay cool here i like this 
So let me add this um, to be right next to my little subtitle here. And I'll size that. Boop, boop, boop. All right. And it's gonna look something like that. And we've got these play buttons, which I will adjust. So it's kind of like decorative in the top left corner, something like that. How's that look? And then because my my name is, um, it looks like it's handwritten, I kind of want to do like a, let's see, like a brush stroke, something like this one. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Let's see, Let's see if we can make it work. Like this, and it's like finishing the sentence kind of thing. Maybe, might be overkill, but let's see. Something like this. Cool, okay. I think that works for this example. You guys get the idea. So before we export, um, we actually have to change the background to the green screen color. So the official code for a green screen color is 00B140. Bam. So that's the color of your standard green screen. And I'll tell you why we do this if you don't already know. And actually there's one more thing that we need to do. The very last thing is that we want to animate these elements to kind of have some movement as they come in. So you just want to click the background and then the animate button will pop up here. And I think let's try this. So something like that can rise up like this. They can tumble over. I think that looks cool. So just to make sure you want to have that, um, you know, whatever transition you want to choose to be on there and then go ahead and download that file as an MP4 video to your computer. All right, the file is done. So now I'm going to open up Final Cut Pro, which is my video editor. And I'm at exactly the point that I want to put the intro in. So I'm gonna drag that file into Final Cut and place it exactly where I wanna place it. So the one thing though, is that the animation from Canva is gonna carry over. So I don't want this white part to be in it. So I'm gonna kind of find the frame where all of the white is gone and cut that part out. So, you know, just the green screen at full screen. So I'm gonna adjust that to where exactly I want it to go. And then obviously it's still green here, right? Like we can't see the video underneath. So this is where it's gonna depend on the program that you're using for Final Cut. You're gonna head into effects and then you're gonna grab the keyer effect and then just drag that on top. And it's basically going to recognize the green screen and pull that out so you can see the video underneath. This will differ again, depending on the program that you use. Um, it might be called green screen effect or something and whatever that you're using. I know iMovie has it, but it's it's not, I don't think it's called Cure. I think it's called something else. So you can do some Googling to figure out how to do that for your program. I also decrease the opacity for the video underneath just cause I want, um, you know, I want the intro to really pull forward. So I'm just gonna make this a little bit darker. I think the last thing I wanna do is actually to decrease the opacity for this as well, just so that you can kind of see through this paint block. So just a little bit, something like that, just so that you can see some. All right, so let's preview this whole thing. Want to make your own custom animated subscribe button for your YouTube videos like this one? Sit tight and I'll show you how using Canva. Did that work? Did it look cool? <laughs> so if you make your own intro after watching this video, please share it with me in the comments. I'd love to check it out. And if you do want to find out how to make your own animated subscribe button for YouTube, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell because that's going to be my next video. If you love Canva as much as I do, check out this playlist full of my other Canva for YouTube tutorials and I'll see you next in one of those videos. Bye.